Customer support and operation teams constantly require tooling to do their jobs, but building those tools is often difficult to prioritize and implement from scratch. Retool helps supercharge your business stakeholders by making internal applications much easier to build and maintain. Let's look at an application that just took a few hours to build, but allows me to easily surface and update information about my customer. Let's say I work at a B2B payments company and need to make adjustments to customers. I've pulled up a list of customers and account information from our internal database, enhanced with data from our APIs. After filtering by name, I can drill down into a particular customer and surface data from a bunch of different endpoints all in one place. Through our out-of-the-box components, I can write back and update limit amounts and limit types and also view transactions for historical data of that customer. I'll go ahead and update the limit amount to write back to my data sources. Selecting override, I press submit and we have a modal with the values that are going to be written back to our database. When I press submit, I'll be writing back to my internal database and updating that customer's information. I'll also review this customer's linked bank accounts and troubleshoot their connections, all directly through the app. I'll select a linked bank account. When I press reset connection, this will trigger a series of internal and third-party REST API calls to reset the connection status. And perhaps I'd like to view more information about the users associated with this account. You can easily link retool applications and pass information between them through query parameters. This email address is pre-populated from the query parameters above. I can view account checks from internal APIs, this customer's account balance, and other users associated with the customer. Drilling down into transaction history, I've noticed that this user has an abnormally high week of transactions. The table automatically filtered based on the selection of the graph and we'll sort by the amount and see which transaction is the largest. Drilling down further into transaction 1818, Retool pulls in its coordinates and displays the transaction in our Mapbox component. Based on the average spend of this user, it seems like there's some anomalous behavior. This user has a transaction of over $5,131, when their historical average is just $244. We should probably mark this transaction as fraudulent. When I click the button, a modal displays and allows me to select a reason. Now, when I press submit, Retool writes back to my internal data sources and notifies our risk team of this user and their transaction. As you can see, this workflow is highly custom, but it was built in just a few hours and it's using Retool's out-of-the-box components and data connectors. It surfaces relevant information to me and lets me securely update a variety of backends and data sources. Your team could build a view like this or even something more custom to your business using Retool. Thanks for watching.